Dave, welcome back. My co-host, Dave Vellante. Hi, John. Dave Vellante from Wikibon.org. And uh, we're here now with Sukumar Narayanan from, from Dell. Uh, Sukumar is a repeat guest. Welcome back, <laughs> Sukumar. Thank you. Welcome back. Good to see you again. We, last time we saw you, we were in a tight quarters. We were at the... Uh, in the small booth at Oracle Open World, we kind of got in through the Q Logic uh, booth, right. and that we was snuck in. <laughs> <laughs> now we got some more room, a little bit marquee location, SAP, a lot of great news. Yes. So we were talking about Dell, and I was speculating that Dell's core competency in direct business model is a good opportunity to be a service provider in this space. So, what's the news and? Tell us well, what's going on with Dell. Of, there's, uh, there's a lot of interesting developments, and we're highlighting several new solutions at, at Sapphire this year. Um, the, the main ones that we're highlighting are our certification of, um, with HANA and BWA, which are these in-memory in um, computing uh, platforms. And we're also highlighting the cloud certification uh, with SAP, so private cloud, we have a private cloud uh, certification with SAP that we're highlighting. So we were we were talking. So that was Monday. You made an announcement, and then and then now you're, you're extending that into some of the certifications and and providing. So you, you had, we had talked to, uh, off camera, Sukumar. Mm -hmm. You said that Hana is game changing. Why, why is that? What do you mean by game changing? In what way? I think it's 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 in its current incarnation. What it's allowing people to do is, is the types of analytics and computations that were not possible before. And, you know, by removing some of the constraints uh, that are placed by a, a physical data warehouse and the ETL kind of architecture that we have today in traditional, uh, you know, data warehousing, um, you know, it's enabling um, customers to do a lot more with the data that they have. And, and do much more predictive type of analytics, more actionable type of analytics than was possible before uh, its advent. But I think the real game changer is going to come from um, when HANA goes into its, its next form or what is the future state that they're envisioning where it essentially replaces uh, the need for both an operational database as well as a data warehouse and everything happens in memory. That truly is, 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 a, is a very, you know, it's a game changing um, in, in terms of, uh, in both in terms of compute performance and, and then the types of things that, that are possible, um, uh, but also in terms of how uh, these kind of enterprise solutions get architected in the future. So let's talk a little bit about cloud. Um, <clears throat> it's all the buzz, it's the rage, but in fact, it's there's a lot of activity going on in the cloud. It's real, isn't it? That's um, correct. Uh, you know, in, initially, when the economic downturn occurred, it was like things accelerated toward the cloud. People were really interested because they thought they could save a lot of money and pushing a lot of stuff into the cloud, but people seem to be getting more selective now, maybe honing in on some of the use cases. What are you seeing at, at Dell in terms of cloud? What are the big drivers in your cloud business? You're absolutely right. You know, there were the the downturn really created the interest because what has happened over the course of the last three years is that IT budgets have remained somewhat stagnant to declining, um, but the pressures on CIOs to to drive greater efficiency, deliver greater value, and drive more innovation, you know, hasn't abated. So they are trying to figure out ways in which they can reduce you know, the, uh, the costs that are just used to keep the lights on and use that saving to drive greater um, innovation and, 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 and value generating activity within IT. And you know, cloud computing allows, you know, you to be able to do that. And, you know, we're still in early stages, but the TCO potential is probably somewhere in the 25 to 30% range, you know, with, with enterprise applications. Because even in a private cloud setting, you're able to uh, size your uh, infrastructure to your average workload, not your peak workload, because most infrastructure is sized for peak and then some. So there's, you know, and if, if you can size it for your average workload, and a cloud setting allows you to do um, have flexible burst capacity, you know, to deal with the peaks, and you're only paying 
by the hour, you know, on a, in a completely utility model for that burst capacity, the, the, the savings are very obvious, mm -hmm. right? So it seems like you've got um, three classes of applications. You've got the legacy stuff that, you know, maybe mission critical, you're going to put a brick wall around it, and maybe that never gets virtualized or never gets cloudized, but then you've got this sort of business critical applications and mm -hmm. you've got the, you know, the test and dev. Well, clearly test and dev is, is gone, going, I mean, it's going, going, gone, right? Yes, I mean, absolutely. And, and, and it seems like people are moving into the, to the, to the business critical uh, applications. And the, does the, when that happens, does the, does the benefit change? I mean, is it still sort of cost cutting? Is it shifting to more, uh, other more business oriented values, whether that's recovery, disaster recovery, you it, know, speed? Talk about that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it, it's, it's all of those, right? So it's, it's, it goes beyond cost to you're reducing the points of failure. So if, you're, if it is sitting in your data center, you have a single point of failure for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're moving it into a private cloud environment, suddenly now you're dealing with maybe 50 points of failure because it's, it's a much larger leveraged environment, perhaps a lot more robust um, environment. So clearly there's a risk mitigation play um, and, and, and a risk sharing play. And, and the, the other th um, advantage that a private cloud environment can afford you is rather than spending money individually on enhancing security, which is a huge issue, both the physical security as well as um, you know, uh, network and other types of security, application security, um, which is an enormous issue that people are dealing with on an individual basis, you know, now you can share, you can leverage that investment, you know, across a myriad of customers, you know, that are sitting in that, that are sharing that same private cloud block, if mm -hmm. you will. What's it like at Dell these days? So, you, I mean, Dell was you know, pretty much a PC company, and now it's transforming. You've, you've purchased Perot systems, uh, storage assets, all kinds of diversity, security assets, and becoming, in many ways, a, you know, an R&D company. Um, yes. What, talk a little bit about that culture shift. I mean, you obviously came in as an acquired company. That's correct. Um, but you got to hear talk about it. You've got to observe. What's your observation, and how is the company changing, and, and what does it all mean? There's clearly renewed energy and a, 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 a different sense of purpose, you know, a definite sense of purpose around, uh, around Dell and around this transformation you know, of, of becoming a solutions company rather than an infrastructure company um, and, and or just a purely services company either, right? So, um, yeah, from your if, yeah, background, from our, right? From yeah. our perspective. Yeah. And um, it's the solutions that we're developing are all um, geared to address the three major um, challenges that most of our customers and particularly CIOs are grappling with. Um, the explosion of data um, which is top of mind for a lot of CIOs um, both in terms of you know how to store it efficiently store and retrieve it efficiently how mm -hmm. to keep it secure as well as then how to make sense out of it right so all three aspects of it and the second is to the sort of the proliferation of devices uh, is you know people want the information um, in in wherever they are you know in, on different types of devices whether it's a laptop or a smartphone or or a pad device of some sort um, and that is not just a consumer issue um, those devices are proliferating inside of the enterprise now they're on the shop floor you know they're in um, in, you know the, the people that are doing service management. You know, going out mm -hmm. and doing. You know, they're using those kinds of devices. App store so for the enterprise, big theme absolutely here, yeah. right. So all of those kinds of things, and and the third mm -hmm. major challenge, which we alluded to, which I alluded to earlier, which is really the pressure on CIOs to deliver greater value. You know, from IT on a constant budget and drive greater efficiency. So those are the three major customer challenges that all of our solutions. Um, that we're developing are, are uh, geared to address. So extracting the value is a, is a key one, and we heard McDermott talk about basically the same things, and he said, um, um, obviously, at the keynote, he said, obviously, in memory, instant business, weeks, days, now seconds, that's obviously the speed, mm -hmm. agility mm -hmm. uh, concept. The second thing he said was mobiles on new desktop, the new desktop, unstoppable force, and third, connecting business processes end-to-end. 
Um, so on the third point, connecting business process end to end, that's what you do at Dell Services. Yes, yes. Um, you talked about extracting business value. How has the services business changed in the, in the recent year or, or 18 months? And how is it changing forward going forward the next couple, couple uh, months or years? Um, Dave and I have been talking about the services angle. The, what's the angle on service that's changing? And so we'd lo lo what's your perspective on the change? I mean, is it value chains that are going to change or the business models are changing? How are you guys preparing for that? What's your I, opinion on that? I, I'm not sure that the business models are necessarily changing, but um, I think a lot of services, particularly the, ser you know, the SIs that are yeah. at an event of, of this nature, were really you know, focused over the last several years to build the transactional plumbing, if you will, um, you know, and putting those in, right? So if you think of the core ERP package around um, SAP, um, that's what that does. Um, and, there, the, you know, the, a lot of companies have that transactional engine in place. So now the, the challenges that people are dealing with is, now how do I run this more efficiently, you know, and how do I, you know, this is, thing is spitting out a lot of information, a lot of data, but I'm unable to effectively take that data and turn it into actionable um, results. And, 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 that's, and that's really the, uh, the big focus moving forward. So the packaging so that's is what do I need, the how do I run it is the how, right? Yeah. So you kind of get involved in both. Yes, absolutely. End to end. Yes, end to end. So we're here with Sukumar Narayanan, who's the uh, uh, vice president, actually managing director, I believe, is your official title, and ex general ex manager, right, exactly. of, uh, of Dell's global uh, services business. And we're talking about cloud, we're talking about the transformation of Dell. Uh, Bill McDermott uh, talked about big data up on stage. You hear a lot of talk about big data today, <laughs> you know, the tsunami of data. IDC says, you know, 1.2 million petabytes of data. <laughs> or, or, uh, is that More. exabytes? 1.2 million petabytes of data shipped uh, uh, last year. Lots of data. Right. Um, in many ways, SAP is you know a company that has been moving, managing the world's data for for decades. Um, what's your take on big data? Um, how real is it? How important is it? What's Dell's perspective on it? it? Big data is an enormous issue, and it's it's like you know it, it just seems based on the keynotes and what you know it's everybody here. It's everybody's. It's on everybody's mind, and it's 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 top of mind, and it, it is real. And it's also it's not just textual data. You know, data has become richer, right? So there is video content, there's images, there's, um, and and all of those things need to come together. If you you know if you think about a, a healthcare situation, you know how do you improve patient care and healthcare? Um, you know how do you Rep, take different pieces of data, whether it's a doctor's notes from you know a visit to your test results to your X-ray, and bring it all together, um, you know, with the right contextual information and make it available to a caregiver, so that they can improve, um, you know, patient outcomes. So, so those are the kinds of challenges that data pose, but that's the kind of opportunity that exists with data. So there's really three things that we need to be thinking about when we're dealing with big data. One is around how do you deal with storing this information because not all of this information needs to be available real time um, and, and not all of this information. There's structured information, there's unstructured information. So it's, it's, there's a lot of challenges around how to store it efficiently, how to be able to retrieve it efficiently, and then you know how to keep it secure. Because with the increasing amounts of data, and then you know the the, the challenge of keeping it secure, uh, you know, be, becomes a bigger issue as well. And then finally, when you have that much data, you know, how do you sift through that efficiently? You know, we're using something like a HANA or BWA type of device, which allows you to do very high degree of computations to you know to uh, to make sense of that data. So you can really make that data, turn that data into something actionable. Mm. So those are the three major thrusts that you know, people are dealing with. But data is, is an enormous issue. So what's Dell's role in that, in that sort of value chain? I mean, where do you fit? We, we fit in all three of those areas. So, you know, we have a set of solutions, you know, that allow for tiered storage and, and efficient retrieval. 
uh, you know, of data. So we're addressing that aspect of, um, of, of the data challenge. Um, we have a set of security solutions that are you know, uh, um, tied to securing this data. And then, uh, you know, as, as evidenced by the, 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 the releases that we made, we're making a big push in the BI and analytics space, um, both in terms of having devices, you know, so we have these appliances, HANA, BW and BWA appliances, but also a set of analytics um, solutions and services offerings, um, you know, to, uh, to, to go along with that uh, to, to address that third aspect of, of really being able to make a better sense of that data. So, Guma, how important is the... Um I'll call it consulting, um, transformative consulting to your organization. Do you do you do a lot of that? Do you, does Dell want to do more of that? Where where does that fit? Absolutely, we we do want to do more of that. Uh, we do do a fair bit of that, um, and uh, in, in in certain specific industries, we're we're not all things to all people, um, but we have a tremendous depth of capability in certain industries. Um, where we're truly doing, um, you know, where we have real IP and a, a deep industry insight, and we can, and we're developing solutions for our customers. For example, the example that I gave about improving patient outcomes from healthcare, that is a real example of something that Dell is doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, so um, are you getting from your customers um, a desire to, we were talking about big data earlier and in, in, in the, the intersection of consulting and big data. I'm wondering, are your customers starting to ask you to help them figure out ways to monetize data or you think that's, we, we're just, we're not there yet. It's a little early in that cycle. You know, there's, I think it is still a little bit early in, in that cycle. Uh, I think what we're, uh, what most of our customers are asking us right now is just help me understand how to come to grips with this data. It is growing faster than I can deal with it. So the first is is, is to lay out some kind of a roadmap for, you know, how do we efficiently store this? And then, you know, how do we secure this better? And then get into developing an overall, you know, BI or analytic strategy mm-hmm. for how to really then you know, take advantage of this data and get to the monetization that you're talking about. Yeah, so right now, a big, big data is uh, is a pain point. It's, uh, it's absolutely you're selling pain aspirin. Point. Yes. At, uh, at some point, do you expect it to become an opportunity where you're selling vitamins? Uh, it, it, it absolutely is, right? Um, you, you, in every industry, I mean, you take a, a retail um, customer, you know, and, the, and these things aren't new. Uh, where you have a, the, the, the store, um, you know, you walk into a store, the store automatically recognizes that you're in the store through your smartphone. And, you know, if you go pick, pick up chicken in, the, in, you know, in one aisle, maybe it sends you in real time offers to, to you know, to, 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 to add other things to your um, mm-hmm. grocery list, perhaps, that, you know, encourage you to buy more items that will help you fix dinner, right? That sort of thing. So th- those things aren't necessarily new concepts, but I think the, the the tool sets that we have and the richness of the data that's available will allow us to, do, to make those kinds of things more ubiquitous. And therefore, you know, clearly there's, op- there's greater and greater opportunity to truly monetize uh, the data that people have. Yeah, I mean, people talk about real time and uh, or near real time and you know, at Wikibon, we've been talking about, okay, what is real time? You know, can big data be real time? And our definition ended up being um, real time is fast enough so you don't lose a customer. That's so right. I'm imagining I'm in a store and I red laser a, a product and I say, well, I can get this cheaper somewhere else. And I start walking away, but all of a sudden I get a, an offer maybe to bundle that product with something else that is right. maybe, you know, maybe there's a lot of inventory of that something else, but I happen to want it and they know I happen to want it. I mean, that would be a very powerful combination we see that coming. It's, yes. It sounds like you do as well, and uh, and and Dell positioning to take advantage of that, presumably. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, um, okay. Well, we are here with uh, Sukumar Narayanan of of Dell Global Services, talking about the transformation of Dell, talking about SAP. Um, quite an event here. Yes. Million square feet. You know, it's good to be part of this, right? Yes, and, absolutely. And we 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 have a huge presence here, the biggest presence ever that Dell has had at this event. 
and I think we're creating quite a buzz. That's yes, good. Well, Sukumar, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure having you back and uh, hope to see you around again. All right, thank you for having thank me. Thank you. It's great.